This work is a very poignant work. It's, it's not a piece for easy listening. But what you hear is a very passionate plea for humanity and a plea for uh, tolerance and for justice. It was finished in 1941 and it was actually premiered in, the 19, in 1944 during the war. But let's go back a little bit and talk about its history. Well, the story is that uh, on November 7, uh, 1938, a young Polish Herschel Greenspan went into the German embassy and shot one of the, one of the employees, a secretary there. He was angry. He was a young man. It was a single act of violence. But the Nazis used that as their opportunity to let the floodgates open to be vengeful and to create this, this horrific, uh, horrific violent act where they went through and broke windows, burned synagogues, knocked over tombstones, and, and basically was their way that really began the concentration camps. And what was even more devastating is it was covered in all the newspapers and the world knew about it, and it didn't seem that many people jumped in and did much. This project began kind of interestingly with a, a conversation with Betsy and Pam from the Holocaust Center. And the idea was to do a commemoration of this anniversary. The partnership began with the Holocaust Center and then more people started jumping on board because it's great, such a great project. Now we're trying to use this as an opportunity to talk about all kinds of current topics such as bullying and intolerance and injustice. This is a program where you have to bring your intellect and you have to bring your soul too. Not only was this piece appropriate then and spoke of the times and, and the, the, the horror and the misery of humanity at that time, it speaks now. All you have to look at is the newspaper and you see incident after incident of, of this still intolerance and injustice. And so this piece has not lost its poignancy. As a matter of fact, it's gained more.